I am Lord Otranto Aventiva, rightfully betrothed of Lady Josephine Montillier. Songs of your exploits have spread to my city, Inquisitor. It's humbling to make your acquaintance. It is a pity it will not last longer. Before we duel, I trust you find the weapon to your satisfaction. I trust you've made this a fair fight, Lord Otranto. Upon my honor. Shall we begin? An admirable start, Inquisitor. Perhaps House Trevelyan isn't the obscure backwater I've heard it to be. I'm glad Lady Montillier isn't here, exquisite as I've heard her appearance to be. Cutting you down in front of Josephine would have given a poor first impression of House Otranto to my bride. Josephine doesn't want this engagement. Call it off. To what purpose? You can't think I... Stop! Josephine! Lady Montillier, what a pleasure to... What are you doing? Josephine, I can't take the chance that you might have to marry him. That's not your decision. The Inquisition needs you. I need you. Yet you threw yourself into danger. Why do this? Why risk everything we've built? Why risk your life? Because I love you. You... You do? He does? Yes, Josephine. I love you so much. I love you too. Well fought. Lord Otranto. I'd assumed your liaison with the Inquisitor was an affair of passion or a convenience, Lady Montillier. But I'm not fool enough to stand in the way of true affection. The Atrantos regretfully withdraw the terms of our betrothal. Thank you. Do not thank me. I know when I'm outmatched. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about arranging the duel. Given that you're in one piece, body and dignity, I forgive you. Just do kiss me again.
I can't stop thinking about your duel in Val Royo. Running into the middle of the crowd, the noise, the swords flashing. I was so worried for you, but at the same time, well, it was the most exciting thing I've seen in ages. I was worried you'd still be angry that I started that duel in the first place. I was only worried for your safety. Your position allows for so little of it. You know, when I first laid eyes on you back at Haven, I hadn't an inkling we'd become so close. Something suggested you were special the moment I saw you. I'm glad it did. These moments seem so dear, especially given your greater calling. Sometimes I must remind myself that I'm required to share you with the rest of the world. The world may want my time, Josephine, but you have my heart. Then I count myself happy, beyond compare. 